This week Adobe launched a new Photoshop with Firefly AI tool, which is integrated into Photoshop and now we can change images directly in Photoshop with help of AI. Alright, let's test a brand new feature on my art and try to figure out how this tool can help us and whether the time has come when we need to retire. If you want to test new Photoshop, you should to install a new beta in your Creative Cloud. This feature works only in beta and you need to install it separately from your main Photoshop. Ok, this is my art and uh, let's try to add some details. Maybe add some people, I guess it must be pirates, according to the main plot of this art. So I pick some area here with the lasso tool and uh, now we have a new window where I can type some prompts as we usually use it to where I want to generate something in mid-journey or other AI services. Add some group of people, pirates. Of course pirates drink a lot of, so type it, uh, then press generate and see what happens. So it looks pretty strange and uh, I would even say terrible. Let's try again. No, that's not what I wanted. Photoshop generates several options to choose from, but it seems to me that it's all quite terrible. Well, uh, what if I ask just at a pirate? Well, something interesting, but I see the problem with people still exist and the AI cannot take and add absolutely realistic people like that. But what I've noticed, look at how Photoshop tries to feed these people correctly into the existing environment. It's really interesting. It reproduces the light quite well, the color is accordance with the original image, and the most that I like is that it generates is quite clearly fit to the perspective of the image. If he could generate exactly correct the people, I would be delighted. Ok, let's try something simpler, for example, just add a sitting man. Well, it's a little better, although there are problems with anatomy. Photoshop adapts is pretty well to the environment, trying to reproduce light and uh, I like this. Photoshop adds this as a new layer with a mask, that means I can remove where I don't need it using this mask. I think it's pretty cool for concepts where you quickly need to make a sketch where you do not need significant details and you can finish by getting a bright art. But for work where you need high resolution it's still too early. Let's try to add some more treasure somewhere in the foreground. And And again, it adapts to the base image very nicely, but still looks so-so. And I would rather prefer to use stock images for a more realistic result for this purpose. Let's try another feature which everyone appreciates so much. Uh, let's try to enlarge the image and uh, let the AI draw it for us. I just highlight the area and uh, press to generate without any prompts. And this is interesting, I even like the way he drew the image using my based image, but I've again noticed that. My original image is a 5K image and if I do zoom to 100%, look at this quality. See the difference? So it has finished quite correctly concerning the original image and the uh, composition, light and color has no question. But quality absolutely will not allow you to use this image somewhere except social network. So deprive us of work? Not this time. Sorry for those who are happy that now artists and designers will definitely remain their work, but you still need to wait. Now I want to look at how Photoshop will overcome such a task. 
Uh, this is my render from my last monolith art. Uh, this is completed work and uh, I want to try to add all these effects like smoke and add some dust particles and make the finish with the help of Photoshop. If you want to see the whole process of creating this art, get this blender scene, I will share this in the next video, so subscribe and you will not miss it. Now let's try to add smoke as in my art. Again, select the area and uh, write smoke. What? The generated images were removed because they violent user guidelines. Okay, it seems he decided I want to add someone to smoke a cigar. So let's explain that I want to add the smoke effect here. Yes, it doesn't block, but what he added here looks like smoke, but why did he add a lamp here? Let's try again. And again, this problem. Why does he add too much? Why is there a lamp? Let's try again. It's terrible, you know. He adds almost what I need and adapt it to my image. But this in general, not what I would like to see here. Also, I really do not like the fact that Photoshop also adds a lot of extra details, which I don't, I don't need at all. So, he understands my image, but certainly doesn't not understand the plot and uh, adds extra details. Maybe later it will work much better. We'll see. So, let's try to make a fire effect here, behind the camera, as in my art. In principle, this doesn't look bad, but here's what he did not understand. Uh, in my render, the foreground is in the focus, slightly blurred, and this fire should also be in the focus. And we can try to add blur to this layer, but since it draws on the entire selected area of the work when I add blur, it also blurs and doesn't look high quality. What happens if I try to add some dust to the whole image, like in my art? Well, something strange in general. So, if I change opacity, looks just like overlays and uh, it's not appropriate to my wishes. Perhaps if you spend more time experimenting with prompts, you can achieve the desired result, but as for me, it's much easier to do everything by myself using brushes and other images or make over paint. I guess now it's not very suitable for such task. For simple tasks like replacing something, as Adobe demonstrated to us, work pretty well. But again, quality is a big problem. As of now, this image will not be able to use somewhere for printing or advertising. It's clear that it is still better version and looking at how the technology is developing in the future, I believe it can work quite well. But it certainly will not replace designers and artists, as everyone is shouting about it everywhere. Because it's a tool for artists and designers, not instead. All videos that demonstrate to us how the new Photoshop changes the game do not demonstrate problem with image quality. There is a useless idea that this work as if designers are not longer needed. As we can see on real complex tasks, Firefly and Photoshop cannot clearly understand your intention. So to add something is not a problem, but to add something that you exactly need is still a difficult task to him and I have doubts that it will be possible at all, because it's a tool assistant, but not a magic tool that will do everything for you, but give some technical task to AI is possible. Finally, let's check something else. For example, I have this image, which I've created to sell on Adobe Stock. If you wanna know how to make this and also make some money on Adobe Stock using Blender, I'll leave a link to my video in the description. So, what if I wanna add here something? I would say flowers and uh, a vase. I suppose this should be an easier way for Photoshop than previous. 
Yes, again, three options and again the same problem. It seems very beautiful, but looks at difference in quality from Miranda. Perhaps uh, in the video on YouTube the difference is not great, but in reality it's a huge difference. So, it can be used somewhere on Instagram, but for another purpose it's unlikely. Also, it must be noted again that the generated images sufficiently fits to the existing one and, and I'm sure that Adobe will still bring it to the ideal. It takes time. You know what, let's try to make this image smaller. The original is a 7K image, make it uh, 3000 pixels on the large side. Perhaps uh, with the smaller images the quality of the generated part will be higher. Let's see. In, in general, I like it, but uh, reducing the image did not significantly help. So, I have another picture. Let's try to add here simple grass. And uh, this is cool, <laughs> you know. Here I did everything quite well and I really like it. I would just edit the color, I don't like this green one. So I add adjustment, uh, hue saturation layer and uh, change the green channel. Yeah, it's, it's much better. So, my impressions about the new Photoshop. I'm delighted with how Adobe is developing AI technology and integrated it into their products. It's clear that it's still beta test and quite a few problems that developers will need to solve. But the fact that a year ago, when we looked at Midjourney, some features were not achievable. Now we can use AI not only to generate simple images, but also to edit and uh, add new elements. But still one problem that I think AI will not never able to solve. This is work by client comments. If we're talking about a commercial work for designers, then our clients always have a lot of comments and write something to AI, press generate and get something, there will be problem. I mean, people who dream so much that they will not be needed designers in the future, will be very disappointed because AI is an algorithm and the works just as he wants. It doesn't care what you want. So, absorb the development of AI, what will happen next, we'll see. Subscribe, I have a lot of interesting things on my channel, if you are interested in digital art, concept art, blender and photoshop, bye and see you in the next one.